In the fourth of the series of the Four Bars Rest Mini Masterclasses, we're joined by tuba star Les Niche to talk about one of the most basic requirements of good brass playing, correct breathing. Les, really, how important is it that a player really gets this element of his playing correct from the word go? Um, I think it's very important, actually, uh, not just for low brass players, tubas and euphoniums. I think it's really important for all instrumentalists, really. Um, for me, whenever I do a, a masterclass or a workshop, one of the things I always say to everyone is that you have to sort your breathing out first. It is the most basic thing, but also the most fundamental and most important. And for me, it's one of the most important things. And whenever I'm warming up or whenever I'm about to do some practice, I will always do some breathing exercises and make sure that part of my sort of tool kit is all sorted. And then I know, hopefully, that all the technical things I need to do with the instrument will work quite well as long as I've got my breathing mm -hmm. spot on. It may seem like a silly question, like, but there is a correct way to breathe properly to play, especially a low brass instrument like an E-flat tuba. Yeah, there definitely is. I think sometimes when I watch other people play, it's really easy to think that you just try and get as much air in as, as you can and you, 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 know, you lift your shoulders up. And if you make it look like you're putting lots of effort in, then obviously you are. But actually, it's the players that can make it look effortless. Mm -hmm but play fantastically well, but make sure that the breathing is all sorted. So what, what I'm trying to say is that you have to train all the muscles that are involved with your breathing so that they're very strong, so that when you take your breath in, you're taking a great breath of air, and then you can push that air out as well. But you also make it look as easy as you can. Mm -hmm. Well, show us a little example then of, first of all, poor breathing technique. And then what do you would say would be the correct breathing technique on the tuba? Okay, so um, to sort of show you what we'd say would be a, a poor breathing technique would be that there's a few really. I'll show you one would be if someone was to sort of restrict the neck here. So if you breathe in like that, you know, I made the noise to make it more obvious, but I, I can't get any air in here because obviously I'm closing off the throat. The other one that you can see lots of players do is that they'll go... And like I said before, that looks like you're putting in lots of effort, but actually any tension in the neck or the shoulders just means that you can't get in as much air as you could. So a, a better way to breathe in would be if you really concentrate. What I try and do is think about breathing in from the soles of my feet almost. Mm -hmm. So I really concentrate on that, keep everything as relaxed as I can. And I try and restrict any movement in my neck and also in my shoulders. Obviously, there'll be a little bit of movement as my body expands, but we certainly don't want any of that tension around that area. For a young player, then, it's something about thinking about before they start playing. Because usually, as you say, automatically they pick the instrument and just want to get playing. So it's a question of really getting the mental part of it right, that, and then the physical part of it, linking the two of them together. Yeah, I, I think so. If, if when you're young, you've got these sort of elements in your playing straight away, then as you get older, hopefully you'll have all the good habits in you already. It's much easier when you're young to take all the good things in and keep them in your mind for when you get older. It's much more difficult if you learn from a young age the bad habits because trying to undo them when you're older is very very difficult so if I ever see any young players playing um, I will always stress to them that just to think about their breathing you know they don't have to you know sit with their instrument and think oh how do I breathe in but they just need to make sure they're nice and relaxed they take in that lovely deep breath of air and then they push that air out through the instrument. So show us a little technique or a little exercise for a, for a younger developing player who can really put into their practice regime on a daily basis just to try and develop that technique for them. Well, one thing I would do, might not necessarily involve the instrument, is just really relax all your body. So if you, if you were just to stand up, you'd just relax a bit of flex in your knees, not too much, but just keep yourself relaxed. Keep your shoulders down. Now, one thing I do to think about keeping relaxed is I actually make myself tense. So I'll hold my shoulders up and I'll tighten up here so I feel really tense, as you can hear in my mm -hmm. voice. But then when I go, <sighs> I've released all my tension now. So when I breathe in, and then everything feels fine. So if you're a youngster, I think it's good to sort of feel what it's like to be really tense and then feel what it's like to get rid of that tension and be totally relaxed. So, and that would only take maybe 10 seconds, you know, it's not going to take too much time out of any practice just to do that a couple of times. Well, Les, thanks very much indeed for that. And that, again, is some of the tips from one of the top stars, the top tuba players in the world. Les Niche, thanks very much indeed. Thanks.
Thank <laughs> you.